Hogsmeade in Hogwarts Legacy it has a lot of secrets and no doubt I haven't discovered them all, but I have found some really amazing beginner gear that you can get the first time you visit, including some that makes you look a little bit like a dragon or a lizard. So let's get into how to find all that amazing stuff. Now, when you first spawn in, if you go right down the street, off to your left, you're gonna see this place. It's Sed Sedwin's Cauldrons. In this chest over here, you're gonna find a robe. Across the street from this, you're gonna find toms and scrolls, or tombs and scrolls. If you go off to your right, you can interact with a, I think it's a book on a shelf or on a, on a desk. Go up the stairs that appear at the back of this sort of hallway, you're gonna find a chest containing a sheepskin hat. Now go down the street and off to your left, you're gonna see this vendor in yellow. You're gonna see Hogshead. Go into Hogshead, go to the closet or the back room, open this and you're gonna find a tasseled koofy. I don't know what that is, but it's sort of cool. Now go to Pippin's Potions. In here, there's gonna be a chest. In this chest, you can find a Cobalt Debonair Ensemble. Now we're gonna be going down the street from Pippin's, go up sort of the staircase. You're, you're gonna see it. And now you're gonna find this nice little cafe right here. Go into the cafe, go to the back behind the counter, open the chest, and you can find a blue four eyes spectacle. So now you can role play a cyberpunk, but it does get even better. Go to Hogsmeade Square, go to Sheeply and Sons. Now behind the counter, you're gonna find a bag. Inside of this bag, you're gonna find a Widweld potion. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. That's not what we're here for, though. Go upstairs, look inside this lady's sort of chest at her bedside, and you're gonna be able to steal a Tartan Sunrise scarf. It's a little messed up to be stealing from little old ladies, but hey, it's Harry Potter. Go into this bag over here. You can find 38 gold. I just threw that in there because why not? But right here is where you're actually gonna find the true prize. Go into this bag. You're gonna find a Dark Sun hat. This is the first piece of your lizard cosplay. So, now from the post office, what you're gonna wanna do is go across the square into Shevin Shaft's Quill Shop. What you're gonna find here is off to the right. You're gonna find a little chest and inside of this chest, you are going to find a seafoam nightwear sort of shirt get up. You're probably gonna just wanna sell this, but I thought I'd throw it in there. Now run across from that to Galdrit Rags Wizard Wear. You're gonna find a bag in this bag. You're gonna find 38 gold, but not really a big deal. Off to the left from where I think it's Goldwyn or whoever it is is standing, you're gonna find another chest. And in here, you're gonna find the gold dragon eyed spectacles. But if you go to Flutes and Loots, which is sort of just down the street from the square, you can go down here to this sort of back room where the person is working, and what you're gonna find is a chest that contains a Stinger Dueling Glove or Stinger Dueling Gloves. These give a little bit more sort of legitimacy to your lizard cosplay, and yeah, that's everything that you can find in Hogsmeade or everything that a new player needs that you can find in Hogsmeade. There's still a lot more secrets, so make sure you subscribe if you want quick to the point videos that give you tips on how to get better or how to play Hogwarts Legacy to its full potential.